in campaigning across the length and breadth of our great nation, inspiring the renewed hope of our people in a better deal for all Nigerians and their future generations. You have consistently affirmed, both in public and in private discussions, that every minute Your Excellency's formation as Ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to join hands with you in actualizing your renewed hope mandate. The Senate has confirmed 45 of your nominees as worthy of the task ahead of them. And with your allocation of ministerial portfolios, they are here before you this morning to take their oaths of office. The ministers designate will take their oaths in nine batches of five persons each and it will be done alphabetically according to their states of origin with one notable exception. Given his pivotal role in the proceedings, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice will lead the first batch to be sworn in as members of the Federal Executive Council. Permit me, Your Excellency, Mr. President, to call on the Minister-designate from Kwara State to stand now as his citation is read. Latif Fagbeni, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, is a life bencher of the body of benchers. Latif Fagbemi is a prominent Nigerian lawyer, jurist, and senior advocate of Nigeria who has made significant contributions to the administration of law and justice in Nigeria. Born on the 16th of July, 1959, he attended the University of Jos, where he obtained his Bachelor of Laws degree in 1984 before being called to the bar in 1985. He later obtained a Master of Laws degree from the University of Ife in 1987. After completing his education, the senior advocate began his legal career as a pupil counsel under Chief Afe Babalola, SAN, and later practiced as solicitor and advocate under the name of Latif Fagbemi and Co., which later converted to a partnership under the same name. In the year 1996, he was conferred with the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria and has also received various other awards and honors. The Learned Silk will serve as the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. You may be seated. <laughs> Minister designate from Abia State, Honorable Barrister Inkeruka Onyejiocha, OON, was born on November 23, 1969, where she represented the Isikwato Umenyoche Federal Constituency of Abia State in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th Assemblies. She was most recently the Deputy Chief Whip of the 9th Assembly. The former Transitional Local Government Chairman and Abia State Commissioner for Resource Management and Manpower Development holds a PhD in Political Science from the University of Nigeria in Suka. She's a lawyer with two master's degrees in transport management from Ladoke Akintola University in Oyo State and international affairs and diplomacy from Imo State University. This recipient of the National Honor of the Officer of the Order of the Niger, OON, will serve as the Minister of State for Labor and employment.
from Akwaibom State, Ministerial Designate Honorable Ekperepe Ekpo, contested and won in 2007 the House of Representatives seat for Abak Etim Ekpo Ika Federal Constituency in the National Assembly. While in the Green Chambers, he was appointed Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Industry. He also served as the House Committee on the House Committees of Customs, National Security and Intelligence, Power and Niger Delta Affairs, amongst other assignments. Honorable Ekperipe Ekpo, with an extensive background in law, will serve as the Minister of State Gas in the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources. <laughs> Ministerial designate from Anambra State. Barrister Uju Ken Ohanenye is an investor for land. We are into area of Anambra State. Her academic journey took her to the Nandi Azikiwe University in Oka where she earned a Bachelor of Law degree. The barrister is known for establishing the Kanuj Shower of Love Foundation, which is nationally renowned for its humanitarian activities. She is also the chairperson of Kanuj Investment Limited, a company with diverse commercial interests, including real estate. Barrister Ohanenye will serve as the Minister of Women Affairs. <laughs> Minister designate from Adamawa State, Professor Tahir Maman, Senior Advocate of Nigeria and Officer of the Order of the Niger OON was born on the 7th of July, 1954, in Michika, Adamawa State. He obtained his bachelor's degree in law from Amadou Bello University in Zaria and followed it up with master's and doctorate degrees from the University of Warwick in the United Kingdom. In 2005, Professor Maman was appointed Deputy Director General of the Kano campus of the Nigerian Law School and later became the school's director general. He was in the employment of the University of Meiduguri in different capacities between 1985 and 2001. The senior advocate of Nigeria is also a recipient of the national honor OON as a former vice chancellor of Bayes University in Abuja and a former member representing the Northeast on the board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. He will serve the nation as the Minister of Education. <laughs> At this juncture, the first batch of five ministers designate will step forward to take their oaths of office, after which each minister designate will shake the hand of His Excellency Mr. President in a photograph.
Thank you very much. That will take us to our second batch. Kindly note, as honorable ministers designate, uh, shake the hands of His Excellency, Mr. President, please be mindful of looking toward the cameras along with Mr. President. The second batch of five ministers designate to soon take their oaths of office begin with the minister designate from Bauchi State, Dr. Mohammed Ali Pate, a distinguished figure in the global public health arena, was born on the 6th of September 1968 in Misao local government area of Bauchi State. He studied medicine and surgery at Amadou Bello University in Zaria. He worked at the institution's teaching hospital from 1990 to 1991 before moving to the British Medical Research Council laboratories in the Gambia. He would further advance his medical training in the United States where he completed a residency in internal medicine in 1998 as well as a fellowship in infectious diseases at the University of Rochester in New York. He holds an American board certification in both internal medicine and infectious diseases. Additionally, Dr. Pate possesses an MBA health sector concentration from Duke University in the US, as well as a master's degree in health system management from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine in the United Kingdom. He has made significant contributions to global health and disease eradication efforts around the world. He will serve as the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare. Also from Bauchi State, Minister Designate, his Excellency Ambassador Yusuf Metama Tuga was born on the 12th of March, 1967. He was elected as a member of the House of Representatives from 2007 to 2011, representing Gamawa Federal Constituency in Bauchi State. He studied at the United States International University in Missouri, as well as the University of Bath and the University of Cambridge, both in the United Kingdom, focusing on international relations and security. He was most recently appointed as the Nigerian ambassador to Germany in August 2017. He will serve as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> Minister Designate from Bielsa State. <laughs> Senator Heineken Lokpobiri was born on the 3rd of March, 1967. He obtained a law degree in 1994 from the River State University of Science and Technology in Port Harcourt. He is an expert in environmental rights and law and also holds a doctoral degree from Leeds Beckett University in the United Kingdom in 2015. He served recently as the Minister of State for Agriculture and Rural Development from 2015 to 2019. Prior to this, Senator Lokpobiri represented Bielsa West Senatorial District in the 6th and 7th Senate and served in various Senate committees, including sports, public accounts, police affairs, Niger Delta development, and Millennium Development Goals. He will serve as the Minister of State Oil in the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. <laughs> Minister Designate from Benue State.
Professor Joseph Utsev, born in Buruku local government area of Benue State on the 2nd of December 1980. Professor Utsev holds a bachelor's degree in civil engineering as well as a master's and PhD in water resources and environmental engineering from the University of Nsuka of Nigeria and Nsuka in 2007 and 2011, respectively. He has been a lecturer in the Federal University of Agriculture, Makodi, since 2006. He served recently as the Commissioner for Water Resources and Environment in Benue State between 2017 and 2018 as well as Rector, Federal Polytechnic Wanune in Benue State until this appointment. He will serve as the Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation. <clears throat> Minister-designate from Borno State, Distinguished Senator Abubakar Kiari, C.O.N., was born on the 15th of January 1963 and served as the immediate past acting national chairman of the largest political party in Africa. This recipient of the national honor of the commander of the Order of the Niger CON will serve as the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security. The second batch of five ministers designate are kindly asked to please step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will take a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President, please looking into the camera. Thank you. Faithful and their true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. I, Muhammad Ali Fate, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and their true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and as a minister, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law and that I will exercise the authority vested in me as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria so as not to evict or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and so as not to endanger the continuance of the federal government of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the federal republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to all that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought to my attention to my consideration or shall become known to me as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Amen.
I would humbly at this juncture request that applause be placed at the end of each citation. Thank you. We now commence with the third batch of five ministers designate to have their citations read. Minister designate from Cross River State, Dr. Beta Edu, was born on the 27th day of October, 1986. This young medical doctor served as the Commissioner of Health in Cross River State and most recently served as the National Women Leader of the Governing All Progressives Congress. She previously served as the National Chairman of the Nigeria Health Commissioners Forum, trained at the University of Calabar, as well as the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. She has played a pivotal role in the development of the health sector in the country, and now we, she will serve as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. Also from Cross River State is Minister Designate Senator John Owaneno who was born on the fourth day of June in 1966 and has represented the central senatorial district of Cross River State in the 8th Assembly. He holds a Master of Science degree in Demography as well as a Bachelor of Science degree in Sociology from the University of Calabar where he graduated as the best student in 1988. An accomplished educationist, farmer, philanthropist, and politician. He also lectured for seven years at the University of Calabar in Cross River State between 1991 and 1997. He will serve as the Minister of Sports. <laughs> Minister designate from Delta State. A, a man who is very well known. Barrister Festus Keamo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, was born on the 21st day of January in 1970. He hails from Ugeli Delta State. He obtained a Bachelor of Law degree from Ambrose Ali University in Ekpoma in 1992 and was called to the bar in 1993. He began his career at Ghani Fawahinmi Chambers as a Youth Corps member and remained there until he formed Festus Keamo Chambers in 1995. He was the Director of Strategic Communications and Public Affairs in the APC Presidential Campaign Council 2019 as well as the Spokesperson and Director of Public Affairs of the Tinubu Shetima 2023 APC Presidential, Ele Presidential Election Campaign Council. During the immediate past administration, he served as the Minister of State for Labor and Employment. Barrister Festus Keamo is a recipient of the National Award of the Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON. He will serve 
as the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development. <laughs> Minister-designate from Ebony State. His Excellency Senator David Umahi was born on the 25th day of July in 1963 from Ohau Zara local government area of Ibonyi State. He was the governor of the state from 2015 to 2023 having previously served as the Deputy Governor of the State from 2011 to 2015. He is the Deputy Leader of the 10th Senate, representing Ibonyi South Senatorial District. A civil engineer who worked with construction giants before setting up his own engineering firm. His tenure as Governor of Ibonyi State was known for landmark infrastructural and economic development across the state. Among others, he constructed ring roads connecting the major roads to the four neighboring states and communities for which he has received numerous awards. He was the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum from 2015 to 2023 and also co-chairman of the Southern Governors Forum from 2017 to 2023. He is a recipient of the prestigious national honor of Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON. He will serve as the Minister of Works. <laughs> Minister designate from Edo State, Honorable Engineer Abubakar Momo, was born on the 27th day of November 1959. He was a two-time member of the House of Representatives, representing Etsako Federal Constituency from 2003 to 2007, and then once again from 2011 to 2015. The University of Benin trained chemical engineer holds two master's degrees in public administration and engineering. He has worked as a classroom teacher and trainee engineer at Gulf Oil Company now known as Chevron in Escravos Wari, Delta State, before his political career. He will serve as the Minister of Niger Delta Development. At this juncture, I humbly request that the five ministers designate named step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they shall share a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President, looking into the camera. Thank you. Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the laws 
and always in the interest of sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will exercise the authority vested in me as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria so as not to impede or prejudice authority lawfully vested in the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and so as not to endanger the continents of the Federal Government of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interests to influence my official conduct or my official decisions. And I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people according to law that I would not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person knowing what we shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. The fourth batch of five ministers designate to have their citations read commences with the minister designate from Ekiti State.
Honorable Oladele Henry Alake was born on the sixth day of October 1956 and holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science and a Master's of Mass Communication from the University of Lagos. A seasoned media and political strategist of over four decades, he is a fellow and former vice president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors. Honorable Alake served as the Commissioner of Information and Strategy in Lagos State from 1999 to 2007 and was responsible for projecting, publicizing, and sensitizing Lagosians and the nation on all Lagos State government policies, programs, and projects. He was before entering the public service, an editor and member of the editorial board at Concord Press Nigeria Limited, while also serving as a special advisor to the late great Chief MKO Abiola of blessed memory. Until his appointment as a minister of the Federal Republic, he was most recently special advisor to His Excellency Mr. President on special duties, communication, and strategy. He will serve as the Minister of Solid Minerals Development. <clears throat> Minister Designate from Enugu State, Chief Uche Jeffrey Naji was born on the 16th day of June in 1963 in Nkanu West local government of Enugu State. Chief Naji holds a bachelor's degree in biochemistry and microbiology from the University of Nigeria in Suka. A very successful private sector player he is also the Chief Executive Officer and Founder of Signal Nigeria Limited with commercial interests spanning construction and marine services. He is also a Director of companies with interests in hydropower generation, crude oil pollution control, medical equipment, rice processing as well as manufacturing. Chief Naji is a member of the Nigeria Association of Commerce, Industries, Mines and Agriculture, NASIMA, a member of the Nigeria-Japan Chamber of Commerce, and a member of the Microbiology Association of Nigeria. He will serve as the Minister of Innovation, Science and Technology. Minister Designate from Gombe State, Distinguished Senator Saidu Ahmed Alkali was born on the 12th day of February 1969 in Duku, Borno State. He obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the University of Meiduguri and worked postgraduate with the Duku Local Government Council before later joining the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. He is a three-term senator representing Gombe North Senatorial District, serving between 2007 and 2023. The distinguished senator was also a commissioner for information in Gombe State from 2008 to 2010. He will serve as the Minister 
of transportation. Minister designate from Imo State, Dr. Doris Uzoka Anite, hails from Oguta local government area of Imo State, and is an accomplished professional with expertise in banking, finance, human resource management, information and communications technology, treasury management, and public administration. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in medicine and a bachelor's degree in surgery from the University of Benin. In her role as the Commissioner of Finance and Coordinating Commissioner of the Economy in Imo State, she supervised multiple ministries. She served also as a member of the Presidential Advisory Council. She will serve as the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. <laughs> Minister Designate from Jigawa State. His Excellency Mohammed Badaru Abubakar was born on the 29th day of September 1962 and served as the Executive Governor of Jigawa State from 2015 to 2023. He is a graduate of accounting from the Amadou Bello University in Zaria. He served as the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fertilizer and Gas, as well as the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Non-Oil Economic Development during the immediate past administration of His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari. The former executive governor has an extensive record of experience in the private sector, a renowned industrialist who served as the chairman and president of a number of chambers of commerce. He is the CEO of the Talamis Group of Industries. His Excellency Mohammed Abubakar is a recipient of the prestigious national award of the commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, and also an alumnus of the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, MNI. He will serve as the Minister of Defense. At this juncture, I respectfully call upon the minister's designate, whose citations have been read, to step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will take a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President.
and the laws are always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I will exercise the authority vested in me as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria so as not to impede or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and so as not to endanger the continuance of the Federal Government of Nigeria. And I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people according to law. I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. We commence the fifth batch of five ministers designated to have their citations read with minister-designate from Kano State, Alhaji Abdullahi Muhammad Guazo, born on the 23rd day of September in 1960 in Koya Getso in Kano State, 
He holds a bachelor's degree in science from Amadou Bello University in Zaria in 1988. He would go on to develop a career in politics where he was thrice elected chairman of Guazo Local Government Council between 1991 and 2007. He served as the Deputy Governor of Kano State between 2007 and 2011 and was a pioneer member of the Board of Trustees of the All Progressives Congress. Abdullahi Guazo will serve as the Minister of State for Housing and Urban Development. Also from Kano State, Minister Designate Dr. Mahmoud Maria was born on the 15th day of January 1978. She studied medicine and surgery at Bayero University in Kano and later advanced her education to become a consultant in family medicine at the Aminu Kanu Teaching Hospital. She is a consultant in family medicine with over 20 years of experience in the field. Dr. Maria is also a member of the National Postgraduate Medical College and the West African College of Physicians. She was appointed Commissioner for Higher Education in Kano State in 2020. In that role, she oversaw the upgrade of the state's tertiary education system for which she has received numerous awards. She is renowned as a strong advocate for women empowerment and girl education. This seasoned administrator will serve as the Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory. <laughs> Minister Designate from Katsina State, Alhaji Ahmed Musa Dangiwa, was born on the 10th day of February 1963 and holds a bachelor's and master's degree in architecture from Amadou Bello University in Zaria. He also holds a master's in business administration from the same institution. During his five-year term at the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria from April 2017 to April 2022, he championed historic reforms that helped to reposition the nation's foremost mortgage bank on the path of transparency, profitability, efficiency, and innovation, making a wider impact as a social housing delivery institution. He will serve as the Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Also from Katsina State, Minister Designate, Barrister Hanatu Musa Musawa, was born on the first day of November in 1974. She possesses a multifaceted background as a lawyer, newspaper columnist, and an immediate past special advisor to His Excellency, Mr. President, on culture, entertainment, and economy. She served as the deputy spokesperson and deputy director of public affairs of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. She holds a degree in law from the University of Buckingham in the United Kingdom and took an additional postgraduate master's degree in the legal aspects of marine affairs 
from the University of Cardiff in Wales. She also has a postgraduate master's degree in oil and gas law from the University of Aberdeen. She will serve as the Minister for Art, Culture and the Creative Economy. Minister designate from Kebi State, His Excellency Senator Abubakar Atiku Bagudu. was born on the 26th day of December, 1961. Distinguished Senator Bagudu was the Executive Governor of Kebi State from 2015 to 2023. He holds a bachelor's degree in economics and a master's degree in banking and finance. He also possesses a master's degree in international affairs and economic policy management from the prestigious Columbia University in the United States. Senator Bagudu worked as an economist at the Central Bank of Nigeria and also lectured at the University of Sokoto and was at the World Bank International Finance Corporation in Washington, D.C. between 1992 and 1993. He also represented Kebi Central Senatorial District at the 7th Senate before his election as Executive Governor of Kebi State in 2015. Senator Bagudu was Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum from 2019 to 2023 and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on Rice and Wheat in Nigeria. He went on to represent then President elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the Presidential Transition Council. This recipient of the National Award of Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, will serve as the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning. I now respectfully ask the five ministers designate to step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will share a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President. decisions 
that I will do to the best of my ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. We now proceed with the next batch of five ministers designate to have their citations read. Also from Kebi State, ministerial designate, Honorable Dr. Yusuf Tanko Sununu. was born on the second day of February in 1967 in Gaski, Kebi State. Dr. Sununu holds a degree in medicine from the University of Maiduguri. He worked 
at the Kebi State Government House Clinic before venturing into politics where Honorable Sununu represented the Yauri Shanga Ngaski Federal Constituency of Kebi State. He served as the Chairman of the House Committee on Health Care Services and he will serve as the Minister of State for Education. <laughs> Minister-designate from Kogi State. <laughs> Prince Shuaib Audu Abubakar was born on the sixth day of November, 1980. He holds a bachelor's degree in business economics from the University of Leicester. He went further to acquire a Master of Science in International Securities, Investment and Banking from the Henley Business School, University of Reading as well as an MBA from the University of Oxford, all in the United Kingdom. He worked at Stanbic IBTC Bank from 2003, arising to the position of Chief Executive of Stanbic IBTC Ventures Limited. He will serve as the Minister of Steel Development. <laughs> Minister-designate from Lagos State, Dr. Morufu Olatunji Alausa. was born in Epe, Lagos State, and would go on to earn his Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery from the University of Lagos in 1993. A United States Board Certified Nephrologist, he would go on to establish the Kidney Care Center and Dialysis Care Center in the United States. He served as the chief medical resident of Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois, and as an assistant professor at the Rush University Medical School. He was named as one of America's best physicians in 2007, 2012, and 2020. He has several other awards to his name, and he will serve as the Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare. Also from Lagos State, Minister-designate Lola Adejan is a seasoned executive known for her ability to lead strategic business transformations through creative design, integration, and technological systems management. Having schooled at the University of Ibadan, followed by her national service in Wari, her extensive career traversed the oil and gas and financial industries, but with a particular focus on culture and tourism, spanning Africa, the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and India. Lola Adejan's wealth of experience in strategic technological management, 
paired with her global exposure and solid education, sets her on a path to add value to the next Federal Executive Council. She will serve as the Minister of Tourism. <clears throat> Minister-designate from Nasarawa State. <clears throat> Iman Suleiman Ibrahim was born in Jos, Plateau State, on the 19th day of April in 1980. She holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Abuja and two master's degrees in business administration and management from Webster University, Missouri, London campus. She would serve as a member of the Nasarawa State Investment and Economic Advisory Council between August 2019 and May 2023. Iman was appointed Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, in 2020, where she worked assiduously towards strengthening the national response to addressing irregular migration. She was later appointed the Federal Commissioner and Chief Executive Officer for Refugees, Migrants, and Internally Displaced Persons, NCFRMI. She will serve as the Minister of State for Police Affairs. At this juncture, I respectfully invite the five mentioned ministers designate to step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will share a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President. Except as may be required 
for the due discharge of my duties as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. We now commence the seventh batch of five ministers designated to have their citations read with the minister designate from Niger State, distinguished Senator Aliu Sabi Abdullahi. The distinguished senator holds a bachelor's degree in veterinary medicine from the Amadou Bello University in Zaria. A winner of the prestigious NYSC Presidential Award, he would join the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in 1995, where he served in various capacities, rising to the position of Deputy Director. He would voluntarily retire from the position and join politics in 2014, during which he was elected Senator, 
representing Niger North Senatorial District and serving as the spokesperson of the 8th Senate. He was re-elected to the same position in the 9th Senate. The traditional title holder, Baraden Borgu, is a, an awardee of the National Honor Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, and he will serve as the Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security. Also from Niger State, Minister Designate Mohamed Idris was born on the second day of May in 1966 in Mbako, Niger State. He holds a bachelor's degree in English and a master's degree in English from Bayero University in Kano and the University of Sokoto, now Usman Danfodio University, respectively. An accomplished media entrepreneur, real estate investor, and construction magnate in Nigeria. He is also the chairman and publisher of Blueprint newspapers, among other commercial entities. He most recently served as director of strategic communications of the Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council and chairman of the Abuja Property Development Company from 2017 to 2023. He will serve as the Minister of Information and National Orientation. <laughs> Minister Designate from Ogun State, Dr. Salako Iziak Adekunle Adeboye was born on the ninth day of August in 1967. He holds an MBBS degree from the University of Lagos and a Master's in Public Health from the Lagos State University, Lasu. Dr. Adeboye is a certified sonologist and as a medical personnel, he has worked in many tertiary health institutions, including the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, La Sooth, Onicha General Hospital, Iboni State, Mukas Hospital in Lagos, and the Lagos State Health Service Commission, where he rose to the position of a senior medical officer before leaving the public service bureaucracy to pursue other endeavors. He would go on to serve as commissioner in three different ministries, agriculture, housing, and health in Ogun State between July 2007 and May 2011. He will serve as the Minister of Environment. Also, from Ogun State, Sir Adebayo Olawale Edum Born on the 20th day of April in 1956, Mr. Wale Edum has most recently served as the Special Advisor to His Excellency Mr. President on Monetary Policy. With extensive experience in merchant banking, corporate finance, 
economics, and international finance. He has held various senior positions in international financial institutions, including Chase Merchant Bank and the World Bank International Finance Corporation. He has also founded his own investment management firm, Denham Management Limited. He is a holder of a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of London and a master's degree in development economics from the University of Sussex in the United Kingdom. It is noteworthy that Mr. Wale Edun was one of the two nominees of the then president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu to serve on the Presidential Transition Council. He will serve as the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy. Also, from Ogun State, <clears throat> Minister-designate Dr. Bosun Tijani, <clears throat> hails from Itoko Abeokuta South Local Government Area of Ogun State, and is an accomplished technology and innovation entrepreneur. Born on the 20th day of July in 1977, Dr. Tijani holds a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Jos, a master's degree in information systems and management from Warwick University in the United Kingdom, and a doctorate in innovation and economic development from the University of Leicester in the United Kingdom. After a stellar career, working for leading organizations in innovation and entrepreneurship across Europe. He co-founded Co-Creation Hub Nigeria in 2010 as Nigeria's first technology hub. Under his leadership as CEO of the Co-Creation Hub Nigeria, the institution expanded to become the largest Pan-African Innovation Center with offices in Kenya, Rwanda, and Namibia with projects and activities in over 17 African countries. <clears throat> Dr. Tijani is a Desmond Tutu Leadership Fellow at the African Leadership Institute, London, amongst other fellowships. He is also a visiting professor at the Witz School of Governance in South Africa. He will serve as the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy. At this juncture, I respectfully invite the five named ministers designate to step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will share a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President. and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. I, Senator do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as a minister I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will exercise the authority vested in me 
as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria so as not to impede or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and so as not to endanger the continuation of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Federal Government of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or my official decisions, that I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people according to law, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. The next batch of ministers designate to have their citations read begins with the minister designate from Ondo State, Honorable Olubumi Tunji Ojo. Born on Workers' Day in 1982, Honorable Tunji Ojo is a two-term representative of Akoko Northeast, Akoko Northwest Federal Constituency 
of Ando State. During his time in the House, he served as the chairman of the Committee on Niger Delta Development. He holds a bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering from London Metropolitan University, along with several other professional certifications. He will serve as the Minister of Interior. <laughs> Minister designate from Ocean State. His Excellency Ade Boyega Oyetola was born on the 29th day of September 1954 in Iragbiji, Oshun State. He served as the immediate past executive governor of Oshun State. He holds a bachelor's degree in insurance and a master's in business administration from the University of Lagos in 1978 and 1990, respectively. Beginning his career as an area manager at Leadway Assurance Company Limited in 1980, the former state chief executive went on to find and own his own business, the Silver Trust Insurance Brokers Limited, in 1991. He has assumed board positions in leading organizations with diverse interests, including finance and real estate. Beginning his career in the public sector, in 2011 he became the Chief of Staff to the former Governor of Ocean State. He would go on to contest and win his election as the Executive Governor of Ocean State between 2018 and 2022. His remarkable achievements as Governor earned him several prestigious awards for his ability to manage the state's affairs without resorting to borrowing while delivering substantial dividends of democracy, one of such was the World Bank's State's Fiscal Transparency, Accountability and Sustainability Award for efficiency in public expenditure amongst other awards. This recipient of the prestigious national honor of Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, will serve as the Minister of marine and blue economy. <laughs> Minister designate from Oyo State. Adebayo Adekola Adelabu. The distinguished recipient of the National Honor, the Officer of the Order of the Federal Republic, OFR, is an accomplished banker and financial consultant born on the 28th day of September in 1970. Adebayo Adelabu was a former Deputy Governor of Operations at the Central Bank of Nigeria and in 2019 ran as the Oyo State gubernatorial candidate for the Governing All Progressives Congress. Mr. Adelabu received a first class degree in accounting from Obafemi Awolowo University and is a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, as well as a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria and an associate member of the Institute of Directors of Nigeria and the United Kingdom. Mr. Adelabu has also taken up professional courses 
and various business schools, including Harvard, Stanford, Wharton, at the University of uh, Pennsylvania, Columbia University, and the University of London. He will serve as the Minister of Power. <laughs> Minister-designate from Plateau State, Right Honorable Simon Baco Lalong. His Excellency Simon Lalong served as the immediate past executive governor of Plateau State and was born on the fifth day of May in 1963 in Shendam local government area, area of the state. A graduate of the Amadou Bello University in Zaria, Dr. Lalong holds a bachelor's degree in law, 1990, and a master's in law from the University of Jos. In 1999, he contested and won election into the Plateau State House of Assembly and was re-elected in 2003. He was elected Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly in 2000, serving two terms in the House of Assembly. He would go on to serve two terms as the Executive Governor of Plateau State from 2015 to 2023. He would eventually be elected Chairman of the Northern Governors Forum in 2019 and of course very recently served as the victorious Director General of the Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council in the 2023 general elections. His Excellency Simon Lalong is a recipient of the national honor of the Commander of the Order of the Niger CON, and he will serve as Minister of Labor and Employment. <clears throat> Minister designate from the Great River State. His Excellency Barrister Chief Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, aside receiving the loudest applause so far today, was born on the 13th day of December 1967 and is a life bencher on the body of benches, serving most recently as the two-term executive governor of River State from 2015 to 2023. He was educated at the River State University of Science and Technology and the University of Port Harcourt, where he obtained his Bachelor of Laws degree and Bachelor of Science, Political and Administrative Studies, respectively. He would go on to be elected as the Executive Chairman of Obiakpo Local Government Area of River State from 1999 to 2007, where he would eventually be elected as the Chairman of Algon. He would go on to serve as the Chief of Staff in the River State Government House, Port Harcourt, between 2007 and 2011. He would then serve 
the nation as Minister of State for Education and eventually Acting Minister of Education during the administration of former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. His Excellency Governor Yesan Wike has received numerous awards and recognitions for his outstanding achievements as the Executive Governor of River State. He is a recipient of the National Award of the Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, and he will serve as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. I now respectfully invite the five named ministers designate to step forward to take their oaths of office, following which they will share a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President.
I would humbly request that we keep the noise down just a bit as we now commence the reading of the citation of the final five ministers designate. Minister designate from Sokoto State, Barrister Bello Muhammad Goronyo, was born on New Year's Day in 1966 at Sabongari in Goronyo, local government area of Sokoto State. He obtained a bachelor's degree in law at Usman Danfodio University, Sokoto, in 1997 and was called to the Nigerian bar in 2001. He also holds a master's degree in energy security management from the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna, as well as a master's in business management and leadership from the London Graduate School in the United Kingdom as well as another master's degree in strategic studies from the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna. Barista Goronyo was a two-time member of the Sokoto State House of Assembly, representing Goronyo constituency between 2007 and 2015, where he served as minority leader, deputy leader, and deputy speaker of the Sokoto State House of Assembly. He would later be appointed as the Commissioner of Solid Minerals and Energy Development, as well as the Commissioner of Information in the government of Sokoto State between 2015 and 2018. He will serve as the Minister of State for Water Resources and Sanitation. Minister designate from Taraba State, Uba Megari Amadu, is a lawyer by profession and was born on the sixth day of September 1966 in Donga local government area of Taraba State. He was a former deputy governor of the state from 2003 to 2004 and he was also the managing partner at Dangari and Megari Solicitors and Advocates between 1992 and 1996. Uba Amadu was a board member of the Federal Road Maintenance Agency representing the Northeast and also served as Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs in the Taraba State Government from December 2022 to March 2023. He will serve as the Minister of State for Steel Development. <laughs> Minister designate from Yobe State. His Excellency, Distinguished Senator Ibrahim Gaidam, was born on the 15th day of September 1956 in Bukarti, Yobe State. Distinguished Senator Gaidam has a bachelor's degree in accountancy from Amadou Bello University. He rose from an early start as an accountant in the defunct Directorate of Foods, Roads, and Rural Infrastructure to become the senior director in the Yobe State Ministry of Health. Before his eventual election as Deputy Governor and then Executive Governor of Yobe State, he also served as a Commissioner in various ministries at that time. He presently represents Yobe East Senatorial District in the Nigerian Senate. He will serve 
as the Minister of Police Affairs. Minister designate from Zamfara State. His Excellency Dr. Bello Mohammed Matawale was born on the 12th day of February 1962 in Maradun local government area of Zamfara State. He is the immediate past executive governor of the state. A recipient of the national honor of the member of the Order of the Niger MON in 2006, Dr. Matawale attended Vocational Training Center, Bunza, between 1980 and 1985 for his senior school certificate. As a man from humble beginnings, he began his service to the nation as a clerical officer in the old Sokoto State Ministry of Health in 1985 before he became a classroom teacher between 1990 and 1993. Between 1999 and 2003, he would serve as the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs in Zampara State, and in 2003 was elected as a member of the House of Representatives representing the Bakura Maradun Federal Constituency until 2015. He also served as a member of the Presidential Committee on Dialogue and Peaceful Resolution of Security Challenges in the North before being elected as the Executive Governor of Zampara State in 2019. His Excellency Dr. Matawale will serve as the Minister of State for Defense. Last but certainly not least is the minister designate from the Federal Capital Territory. <laughs> Honorable Zafania Beatrice Chisalo was born on the third day of April in 1970. after which he would go on to obtain a degree in education from the University of Jos, along with various certificates across the private and public sectors. He eventually represented Abuja Municipal Bwari Federal Constituency of the FCT in the 7th and 8th Assemblies. He would go on to serve as the chairman of the Abuja Municipal Area Council for six years. The holder of the national honor of member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR, will serve as the Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs. At this juncture, I respectfully invite the five named ministers designate to step forward to take their oaths of office before sharing a photograph with His Excellency, Mr. President. Sir, 
preserve, protect, and defend the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. I, Bello Muhammad Goranyo, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear to allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as a minister, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will exercise the authority vested in me as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria so as not to impede or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and so as not to endanger the continuance of the Federal Government of Nigeria that I will not allow my personal interests to official, my official conduct or my official decisions that I will do to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that in all circumstances I will do right to all manner of people according to law, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God.
I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. But that's it. Speak that again. Following, following His Excellency, Mr. President's remarks, and after the national anthem, newly inaugurated members of the Federal Executive Council are hereby requested to join His Excellency, Mr. President, His Excellency, the Vice President, and the Secretary to the Government of the Federation for an inauguration photograph on the other side of that curtain. As they proceed to do so, I kindly request that everyone else here present remain seated during that photograph session. Also, I kindly request for all newly sworn in members of the Federal Executive Council to at some point uh, later in the day, proceed to the Permanent Secretary General Services Office of the Office of, to the, of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation to pick up their appointment letters. Without further ado, it is my distinct honor and privilege to invite His Excellency President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, to provide his first remarks to the new council. The Vice President, the Senate President, the Speaker House of the Representatives, the National Chairman of our Progressive Party, our party, Dr. Ganduje. Chairman, Governors Borum, and other governors who are present. Secretary to the Federal Government, Chief of Staff, Honorable Ministers. A traditional relapse. Service chiefs, senior government officials, members of our extended families, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all to all of you for being here today. In line with the constitutional obligations, the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has screened and confirmed 45 ministers who wish to pretend over the Ministry of Federal Government in this administration of renewed hope. The men and women who, will be, who have been sworn in have been carefully selected 
by me for their track record of excellence and achievement in public and private sector. They reflected the diversity of Nigeria and bring to their new role an assortment of experience and expertise to help guide the nations of the years. And also continue to rebuild the nation and re engineer all our financial and defects. Building blocks of Nigeria today and the future. Fellow Nigerians, the challenges we face today are very daunting. Yes, they are. Yet, amidst these evident challenges, we have the opportunity to implement long overdue reform that will improve the operations of government transform our nation's economy and ensure peace, safety, and prosperity for our people. These are the objectives that underpin the renew renewed hope agenda. And these are the objectives that have inspired the selection of a lot of these distinguished ladies and gentlemen who are ministers by now. Minister of Federal Republic, you are not minister of a region or minister of a particular state. Since my inauguration on May 29, I have taken steps to begin implementing the agenda upon which I campaigned and for, for which I received the mandate of Nigerian people. With the inauguration of ministers today, we are about to accelerate our governing efforts. Move to move forward, realizing our best aspiration for Nigeria. It's all about a great team, and I believe we have them here. It is high honor to be chosen to serve as a minister in the Federal Executive Council of our beloved Republic. With such high honor comes tremendous responsibility. In this moment of abundant promise and peri in equal measure, all of you who have been sworn in have been called to distinguish yourself It is me who know you. And delegates this author. But the greatest number of Nigerians are highly expectant of delivery and accountability and transparency. Nigeria expects that you will serve with integrity, dignity, and deliver. I will hold you to that standard. We both, we all promise Nigerians. Your assignment began immediately. 
as your country honors you today, by this call to service, you must each work to make yourselves worthy in the eyes of God and all our nation's people. Your highest obligation is to restore public faith in government so that our people can once again believe that the right hands, the government, can show and believe in you. That the government can be a positive force for transformation and a vehicle for collective progress of this country. I congratulate you and welcome you to the administration of renewed hope. I wish you success in this new assignment. We are in this boat. If it is a vehicle, and I am the driver, the entire Nigerians are behind, sitting and watching as you and I navigate this vehicle. We must hold each other responsible. We have to do the job to meet the expectation of all Nigerians. As I said earlier on, you are not a minister of a particular state, colony, region, or ethnic nationality. You are a minister of Federal Republic of Nigeria. God be with you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. The National Anthem. Honorable Ministers, will be the President is heading in one direction to the area. You'll be in the opposite direction, please. Take, turn to your right, and you'll be escorted to the photograph session. Please, may everyone else be seated.
Send um
Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Every major news story is with many perspective and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. Hello. What time did this happen? The news. First, with breaking news. There is always more to a story than the discriminate line. The part of a story that is not told casts a shadow. It's like the part of an object that is not reached by light. On TVC News, I'm able to explore the many angles there are to a story, talking to stakeholders, asking the difficult questions, and digging for facts. I believe the viewers are able to make a better decision if they're well informed and understand not just a part, but the complete story. TVC News, first with Burgundy.